and welcome, welcome to, to Mom's, Mom's Kitchen. Kitchen. Yes! I have my precious daughter, Savannah, and my precious son in love, Miles, here with me today. And they're visiting from Illinois. Is Illinois as cold as Nebraska, y'all? About the same, yeah. Okay, and so Miles, now you own Veth Group. Yes. So, marketing company. Uh, automating how to take data out of the internet and turn it into appointments. We set a thousand a month for businesses. Did y'all get that? <laughs> I mean, so easy. So, I love it. I love it. Beth Group is not affected by the weather, right? No. Okay. Now, Miles, this recipe is your sweet mama's. Correct. And Savannah makes this amazingly well. Hey, Savannah has done a wonderful job trying to figure out my exquisite cooking, uh, <laughs> I guess, desires, which I am not a good cook. I have not cooked in 10 years. Newlyweds. So this was made and perfected by Savannah, but special to me because she made it, as well as it being for perfected my mom. Perfected by Savannah. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's really so sweet. sweet. That's so sweet. Oh, Savannah, you. show your beautiful ring. Oh, this is yes. fun. Newlyweds. So look how pretty y'all can. I don't know if y'all can see it. Actually, I think you can probably there. see it in Texas. <laughs> okay, but y'all... We promise it's not small. <laughs> <laughs> not that that matters. It's your love. Their love is big. The love is big. <laughs> Tell me what we're going to make today. So, they're called Wonderful Waffles. <gasps> Wonderful Waffles. And we're going to make them in the shape of a heart. <gasps> in the shape of a heart. So, tell me what we're going to need for these Wonderful Waffles. Well, to start, we're going to need some eggs. eggs. Farm fresh eggs. Only. <laughs> no city eggs. <laughs> We're going to need some flour. A cup of oil here. So okay. you could use uh, various types of cooking oil, canola oil, corn Kachin. oil. We are in Nebraska on a corn farm. <laughs> we love uh, the corn. Butter. And some milk. <gasps> milk. And then some salt. This here is from the Spain. Oh. We suggest Spain. The recipe calls for <laughs> Spanish salt. I'm just kidding. Any type of salt's fine. Wait, <laughs> can you like... Can you, the, can you throw it up and catch this? I've done that in the show before. Oh! <laughs> this is the first try! <laughs> That's amazing! Savannah, you try. Okay, okay, Savannah. <laughs> 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 you should probably face smiles so that um, you can, yeah, you know, okay, so it doesn't go this way. <laughs> you need, uh, baking baking powder? powder. Three tablespoons. Okay. And, and love. <laughs> Together. This is late at night. We've also put together a baby Yoda Lego. It's a really awesome thing that's not together fully, but it's getting there. <laughs> it's been really fun. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get all of your dry ingredients. Cooking is very dangerous. So how much flour did you put in, sweet girl? Uh, one cup and three fourths cup. So one, one and three, three fourths. Four cup. <laughs> but one cup in, and then I had another bowl that had three fourths. <laughs> three cat teaspoons of <laughs> baking powder into the mix. I love it. Now, Miles, how much do you cook for between uh, the two of you? Never. Oh. <laughs> it's been a long time. There you go. But I hear Savannah is an amazing a cook. Amazing cook. Oh. She, she gives me a blank piece of paper every week and says, imagine any food group you would want, and I'll make it like at a restaurant menu. And she makes like manicotti and Ooh. shrimp angel hair and every kind of cookie and soup and chili and she can bake it all from scratch and is the best cook and most variety i ever could have imagined that's Aww, so sweet thank yeah. you <laughs> salt now you're gonna mix it all up that's so what i'm way. mixing i like to kind of do two hands and just get a little bit of leverage <laughs> <laughs> that, that works too, either way. Health department comes in. Now we're going to add one and three fourths cup of milk. Have y'all been married a little over a month? Uh, about a month and a half, yeah. Month and a half! I guess about three oh, fourths. Always laughing. Yeah. Yes, and marriage marriage looks good on you guys. You, you guys are really happy. Did you actually and... measure this before? This is perfect. This I is did! Exactly what I need. <laughs> I did. Do you want to crack an egg, Miles? I mean, uh, yes. you could. <laughs> what I once learned is you just have to crack really quickly like that. Okay. No shells. <gasps> okay. Oh, he didn't have shells. Way to go. That was fantastic. That was really good. That was Perfect. really good. <laughs> oh, yay. <laughs> hey, good job. Did, did you teach him how to do that? That was no. fantastic. No, who taught you how to do that? Uh, my Aunt Nancy on Cape oh. Cod. Aunt Nancy on Cape Cod. She used Cape to watch God. me cook. Um, <laughs> yeah, she, we take out Jacques Pepin's cookbook, <laughs> and we would do recipes. And there were some disasters because I'd cook for twenty people. There's some very bad fish in there. Oh! But ironically, Jacques Pepin, the famous chef, is actually Jacques. my neighbor growing up in Connecticut. 
And Jock and Julia, the famous cooking show, <gasps> my one of my mom's close friends cooks on shows like this with Jock. So That's Jacques amazing! Jock, yes. Jock Cousteau. Wow. Jock Cousteau. Following in his footsteps little by little. <laughs> okay. Oh. Now we are going down miles at the oil. So I like to just just for entertainment, I like to kind of go up here. And oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Living on the edge. Okay. <laughs> Woo! That's kind of pretty. I love it. Fun in the kitchen. Fun in the kitchen. I love it. It's wonderful. And this is it's beautiful. gotten kind of hard to stir. I'm going to turn it over to Okay. Well, in Miles, in uh, college, you played baseball. I did. So you probably can whisk that thing. Uh, are yes. you a, are you a southpaw? Uh, yes. What? Yes, southpaw, left-handed baseball Yes, left-handed and left-handed whisker. And he could throw a ton of miles per hour. Like oh, this ought to be fun. 87 miles an hour? Here's a picture. 87. Oh! There's nothing like going to a real game. Well, my brother-in-law, Berger, is a Division <laughs> One track thrower. I was only a little Division Three pitcher. <laughs> hey, so you know sadly, what? <laughs> sadly, <laughs> uh, if, he, if he was whisking this, there'd probably be a hole in the bottom. All of my sons in love are and perfect. Blake, <laughs> They're all amazing. Blake would have measured this more per perfectly. But I'm here at 10 at night doing it, so that's something. <laughs> Of you for being here. Thank you for being here. And you're doing Consider a great job. Consider this just an infomercial for being in amazing shape. <laughs> Damage your arm going at this speed. It's okay. <laughs> He's so funny. He does this all the time. <laughs> what's what's one fun thing that y'all done since you've been married? We went. Well, we went to Disney twice. Twice. They went to Disney World twice. Overachievers. So we're, we're, we're actually trending. We go to Disney World every three weeks, which. Oh. <laughs> means that over the course of your marriage, we'll go there, yeah, 5,000 times. Um, well, one time we went to Sanibel, Florida for our honeymoon, and it was so cold oh. that we audibled and went to Disney because I knew Savannah had a great experience there with her family growing up. And then one of my close friends, Tate Fritz, just got engaged and wanted to get engaged at Disney, so we went back with him. Congratulations, uh, your engagement, Tate. <laughs> but Aww. Disney World is a nice place, too. Yeah. That's great. And you have done this to perfection. He has. One of the things yes. to know that you did it enough is if you just go like this and it comes out, then it's good. <laughs> <laughs> when Marianne watches this, she's <laughs> sweet Marianne, his sweet mother. Who knows okay. that? Yeah, basically she's no, never I seen me cook once. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's gonna, you're going to have to send this to her. Mom, you're We're, doing great shows. We love being a part of creepy guests so well. This is cute and hot. Okay, you're doing awesome. At this point, just to make sure you're really ready, just get a little stretch in there. <laughs> And this cutie cutie little little thing, it's burning hot, but look how adorable. Got it at Bed Bath and Beyond. It's to hot. show your significant other just how much you love them, you can actually <gasps> imprint this on your hand for no, future balance. No, no, safety, safety. It is late, folks. It is late. Okay, and you're going to spray the um, waffle iron before you put in the batter. Good idea. Oof. Nice. All right. That's a dental hygienist uh, wrist there. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is exciting. Okay. Okay, now do we, do we close it? Yep. <laughs> Woo! Well, well poured. While we wait for this to cook for a couple of minutes, we got to dance. Uh, we've just been talking about marriage. What is a piece of advice you would give us or another newly married couple on marriage? Well, the most important thing is to keep Jesus Christ the center of your relationship. And I know that you both read your Bible every day and you pray together, which is so important and that's so good. And I would say two really spiritual things are <laughs> forgive quickly and laugh. <laughs> Laughter is very spiritual. <laughs> if you're giving advice to a girl who hadn't chosen her spouse, would you suggest that my level of cooking skills is a minimum requirement or is that more optional? I would say what's more important is your heart, not your cooking skills. <laughs> and if but your heart <laughs> is your cooking, then make a heart waffle. <laughs> Miles, do you like being your own boss? Uh, I never dreamed of being my own boss as an end goal, but I love having the ability to try to be responsive to God and how we build a company. And I like having the accountability that if I do that well and how we're generous and treat employees and treat customers, um, I'm never going to be in a conflict of what I feel like is right versus what we do. Okay, I love that. Okay, that's good. That's good. Well, let me ask you, do you enjoy your job? What did you say, enjoy it? 
Yeah, yeah. Savannah's well, going to answer. I, I love the battlefield of business. I, I don't know, that's you yeah. heart, you heart it. Yeah. That is beautiful. Y'all, look at that cute heart waffle. Oh, shit. I love um, it so I much. Do. I oh, love it. Well, y'all, this is fantastic. Oh, good. Oh, good. No, heart, no hard feelings. <laughs> Savannah and Miles, thank you so much for coming today and cooking in my kitchen. This was so exciting. We've done your sweet mama's waffle recipe. And Savannah, I'm so proud of you. And remember, <laughs> you see that? farm fresh or bust. <laughs> Miles is so pro farm. I love it. I love it. Anyway, y'all are the best, Savannah. I'm so... And also, I'm, don't forget to like. <laughs> I heart you. <laughs> I heart you. I heart waffle you, and I heart waffle you. I gotta give a big, gotta give a big hug. Y'all have a great week. The subscribe button is really big below. <laughs> it's hurtful if you don't hit it. No, I don't know. It breaks our feelings. It breaks our hearts. <laughs> Made my life. I would just like to clarify, if you're cooking for your kids at home, something my mother did not do was lather her hands all over the waffles. You may want to go fork <laughs> directly with the iron to the plate. <laughs> show we, we won't touch all the waffles <laughs> it's been so much fun to have y'all in my kitchen thank you so much i'll have to come to illinois and cook in your kitchen and do a show there that'd be so fun <laughs> okay y'all make these amazing waffles don't forget to thank jesus and enjoy see you next time <laughs> <laughs>